As soon as you start working on your designs in Illustrator, think about creating a symbol library, a separate document, and in our case we just called it plants, the plant symbol library. Um, at a certain point we started to have too many plants on here taking up a lot of space so we made them separate files and now we have a tree symbol library for large trees, small trees, ones for shrubs and ones for perennials. And that's worked out quite well and it makes it a little bit easier but we're really trying to always stay organized with these symbols so that as we're doing the work we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel. That once I've made the symbol for one project I haven't made, it's in my library and I can pull from that. And that really is the goal is to reduce the time consuming task, the repetitive task, so that we can move quickly with this. As you can see we're working in 20 scale on all of these and this is just a, a document at 20 scale um, with all the plants on it uh, that we've used or we're using at this time and even in the bottom right corner we're kind of saving some of our polycultures off of projects also on here so um, we have some of our uh, prairie plants and um, Swiss stone pine and apple trees things like that this is a um, I believe this is a, a uh, not black walnut but a white uh, uh, swamp white oak um, polyculture here just showing the different styles too uh, when we make these symbols by the way you can kind of tell we're trying to really keep the ink down you might say we want our line weight to be thin so that when we get a lot of information on this page it doesn't have a lot of noise so you can see the difference between these two symbols where we're trying to simplify always so that when they get small they just don't turn into this big black blob <coughs> and that's why we also um, screen back a lot of the colors and mute the colors quite a bit now you can see here the difference between these two typefaces we try to use the light typefaces very thin you can see how heavy these are and at a certain point they really start to block up so we want those to be as thin as possible this is all mint in here this is a big mint patch but you can see how we screen that back also that gives it depth so things that are behind other things get screened back a little bit as they go through the transparent tree so all these are small groupings within this this is a polyculture and this one the colors are too dark it's too contrasty if you flatten out the colors and if you make your lines thin as much as possible now trees are always thicker because they're bigger and they're higher and that creates kind of a sense of depth in a way <coughs> um, our font and our strokes are very thin and the tree tops are muted uh, perennials are in groups and by the way as you do your plant symbols you might want to consider having three, five, or seven, nine of these symbols together in a group, especially with the perennials, because you're not going to plant just one most of the time. You're going to plant three, five, seven, nine, always in odd numbers, and so make that symbol a group. So we'll have one plant symbol, um, like in this case, uh, uh, we have one plant symbol for that, and then we'll have another symbol that has five in it, and then we'll just take off five at a time. It makes it much easier in counting uh, later on. So that's a plant symbol library. These are pre-made sizes here and you might want to do this unless you can find a source for these. But you just go through and you make your circles at 20 to 1. Uh, here 1 inch equals 20 feet. And uh, make those however you want and also this reminds us the size as you drag it on. We have uh, letters that will replace with the symbols for um, the tree species or maybe you'll just leave it as the 35 foot because that's a 35 foot spread on that too. But you can see it's just a muted green, all very small. Um, this is the 35 inch blank and uh, it's a, a symbol on here. This one actually has uh, the circles and you can change the colors on this and you can also change the, change the transparency uh, on this also. Um, in appearance it will show that this is 40 percent fill the lines are always black and that's why we use appearance instead of uh, transparency because we can separate out stroke and op and fill for our opacity so our lines are always solid black but our opacity changes and that depending on the color green you have you want to change that uh, opacity so it's you know muted 
but also plants that are underneath it can be seen and that's why we use that opacity tool and so as we layer things on top of other things you can see them if it's all solid things are just going to disappear and you can't use your seven layers uh, of your forest garden because you won't be able to see things that are underneath and we want to make sure that we're overlapping and it makes good sense to do that so this is the symbol library when you're making these and when you're starting to make these it's good to just stay organized as you see here and keeping your plants in uh, good range to find them and then by the way as I showed you before we've even taken now the trees out and we've made the large trees a separate page because we're getting a lot of those and it's a little easier, excuse me, to uh, keep track of them.